it's a um, <clears throat> This time I'd like to call the drainage board meeting to order with the approval of the April 8th meeting minutes. Make a motion to approve April 8th. Second. Minutes. Motion to be made cited on favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. This time I'd like to the minutes for the Monday, May 6th meeting. That was a special meeting for the yes. opening of the uh, bids for the, the, for the relocation. Yes. Make motion to approve. Second. Oh. Motion been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Next, we have the surveyor's report payment to contractors. It, you see the list in front of you. Uh, Mr. Law would be glad to answer any questions if you have any. Motion to approve payment to contractors. Second. Motion to remain seconded to approve contractors. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And we have no change of assessments at this time. That's all I have right now. This time we'd like to award bid for the Nespajani Ditch Reconstruction. Jared Huss, Lawson Fisher Associates, 525 West Washington Ave, South Bend, Indiana. Uh, so what you'll have in the last portion, the last two documents in your packet, will be a bid recommendation letter uh, as well as the tabulation of bids. So that's, we had five bids that we opened on May 6th. Uh, of those, uh, the low, lowest responsive was C&E excavating at 3.483 million. And so those bids, we reviewed all of those, bidders checklist, all the appropriate documents. They have everything in order. They are, they do have the requisite experience. And so that Lawson Fisher would recommend that the board choose or recommend the bid of and approve the bid of uh, C and E excavating. Uh, and I can go through kind of the next steps, but that's kind of the first step we take. And then I can kind of talk through where we're at with permitting and other steps that we would take beyond that. Marcel, are we all square from your angle? Perfect. Mr. Mathis and I may or may not have had a conversation before this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can make that to a motion, Derek. Yeah, I'd like to make that into a motion. Derek, Mr. Commissioner. Mr. Peter, second. We have a second already. We have a second. Motion been made, seconded to accept the bid of C&E excavating. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. And just to be clear, so on the June 3rd meeting, 
we will bring and work through the contracts with CNE, and that time, at that time we will uh, sign those, or hopefully sign those contract documents in addition to issue a notice to proceed to move forward on the project. So uh, at that time I can fill you in on more information on where the permitting and all of that stands unless you have questions currently. They are, absolutely. Yep, so working through the permitting uh, process and that's in good shape and um, all the other pieces should start. I also acknowledge to Mr. Lynn's comment, I did forget the donuts since we had an extra meeting in, in May, so I am on the hook for that. <laughs> Correct, yeah. the, the Yes, correct. The MOU, there's an MOU that was uh, assigned between the Drainage Board and the Redevelopment Commission. The contract value or the, the, the estimate bid uh, was put into that MOU and will go through redevelopment. And then those dollars will then be shifted to the Drainage Board for you guys to administer the project. this time I'd just like to thank Jared Huston, Lawson and Fisher for all their time and patience and effort going into this, you know, beyond, up and beyond the meetings that we had and I'd like to thank Phil Garrett and Marcel also and, and the board for taking the time to meet with Jared and answer all the questions and uh, it's been a, been a long process and we're almost there. <laughs> uh, I know we're still couple, waiting on a couple emails from a couple individuals, or one individual maybe. <laughs> but uh, appreciate all Lawson Fisher's help and everybody's help in this, man. No, we, thank you, Bobby, and we appreciate the ability and opportunity to work with the Drainage Board and uh, we'll get the project through, get it constructed, and, and continue to move forward on other Nezbajani items, so thank you. Water discussion. Nathan. Yeah. Andy Taylor here. Fill in for me. Andy Taylor with Kinley Horn. Uh, we got an address at uh, 500 East 96th Street, Suite 300, Indianapolis, Indiana 46240. Uh, so today, this is uh, we're asking for the outlet for our detention system uh, in regards to. IEC 3 is the project name. <clears throat> it's at the uh, southwest corner of State Road 2 and Strawberry Road. Um, right now we're, we're proposing masquerading for future development. Uh, it's about 225 acres there at the corner. Um, we're gonna have three uh, interconnected detention ponds that'll, that we're planning to discharge directly to the Nespajani ditch uh, through RCP uh, storm sewer, uh, planning on putting that right into the ditch at just above uh, the flow line level. So uh, we've been through permitting with uh, Sky and Hana through the county. Um, happy to answer any questions that you, you might have. How many pumps did you say you were going to be running? Uh, no pumps. It's all it's gravity drain. So do you, are you familiar with where the, uh, the pipeline crosses that corner? It kind of bisects that, those two properties. Um, I think you just south of uh, Miss Johnny crosses under State Road 2, runs up diagonally over Strawberry. Right. Miss Johnny connects to the Strawberry River. It runs parallel, yeah. It's just south of that. Right. And I, I guess, I'm sorry. So. Is this uh, specific to the dewatering operations during construction? Okay, so I, I kind of went through the, the outlet. So the so, di so what you just described is a temporary outlet or a permanent outlet? So what I was describing was a permanent outlet. I think maybe I, I was confused that there was a second, second item there for the dewatering. 
Um, I'm not quite familiar with how many pumps they plan on pumping. I would, I would imagine it's probably just one pump through a dewatering bag for temporary dewatering. So I, I think I think there's two separate items, and John, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I think there's there's one for temporary construction dewatering, and then there's another item for the permanent outlet for the the mass grading and detention ponds. So the. So do you need the temporary or the permanent pipe installed first in order to have the temporary? No. I, I believe that the plan would be is that the dewatering would go through a dewatering bag and then to the ditch, and that wouldn't, that wouldn't be permanent. And then the, the permanent pipes would be put into place once the, the permitting with um, the core and, and item is done because it's a regulated water of the U.S. Uh, I think, I believe we've got two 30 inch RCP culverts going out to the ditch is it's roughly at the above the flow line of the ditch just I mean just maybe a, a foot or two above the, the actual flow line yeah I guess I, <laughs> yeah the because there is water in the ditch right now so we tried to put the yeah we tried to put that pipe above it Right. <laughs> so our agenda says Kimberly Horn dewatering discussion. Exactly. So we're just talking about the dewatering of the temp. The, is that correct? And this is for this is this for the permanent. That's discharge? for the permanent. Yes. So this is for us to look at and consider later. I'm guessing. Well, what did we discuss the last meeting the where they were putting in the in pumps the and everything? Corner? I'm I'm not as familiar with the dewatering. I guess that if if that was a I'm not sure we submitted that. I'm not sure Kimley Horn did the dewatering, or if it's a contractor. It was, uh, you guys. Okay. Kimley Horn. I'll have to. I guess I'll have to follow up on that. I'm not as familiar with those details. And that's what confused me on that. It was, it was the last meeting they were talking about. I think it was six big pumps in twenty four hours a day and had no idea how long they would run. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm. For a different project. That was for a different one. That's, no That's on the north side. Yeah. Okay, my mistake. Yeah. I guess that helped, John. We, we don't have the permit in front of us here in I thought, yeah, I, I thought that you were here to talk about the dewatering and going into that northwest ditch or south, yeah, I, southwest ditch. Corner, corner I get it. There, there may have just been a misunderstanding on our part. We, we thought this was for the, the permanent outlet. The permanent outlet you're also using for temp, temporarily for dewatering, correct? It, it could be if it's installed, but I would imagine they might have to dewater prior to that outlet yeah, being. That's what I thought today was about. Okay. Well, can we get you to submit information on the dewatering, and then we'll consider this over the next month? Is that going to cause you any trouble? Uh, <laughs> if I guess if we could, what are, what are we missing for the permanent outlet? I guess what. But what are you here today asking for? The permanent outlet is really what. We, we just we just received this like Thursday or Friday morning. Okay. And, and you know, and, and I'll be honest with you. Am I going to look at this all this? You know, and are these this drainage board going to look at all this? Maybe. But you know, a condensed down version of that permanent outlet would help us. And you know. Well, so there is. There are uh, some, some exhibits, and I can actually come up and probably show you what exhibits are more important, if that will help. But this is not what's on our agenda. Right. Right. 
I'm, yeah, I am too. Question. Well, it sounds like it went through Sky and John Law, but, you know, not this board. Did Sky sign off on this? I, I, no, I, I can't answer that, John. Not on the dewatering, but this way I understood it, we were going to do, that's what that document there is, to discuss the dewatering and, and getting that permit first so they could start construction, and at the same time they were going to, one of the, the northeast dewatering site was also going to be a permanent pipe. So they are going to do that, those two together, the way I understood it. And that's why that document came Thursday, because they wanted each very board member to have one. I don't know, Randy. I, I, I yeah. don't see if, if this yeah. is what you're yeah. To do to to submit. Basically, we thought we needed that. Yes, that's helpful. very helpful. Do you have that in his review approval letter? I we can get it to you. Yeah. I'm curious what. One thing that jumped out at me on page two there was the pre-existing runoff. Uh, you're using a hundred-year storm. Usually, we use ten-year uh, for pre-developed uh, allowable release rate. So I, I just was. Curious if there's something different here, and what Sky's opinion of that is. But you know, I just saw the third page in here, looking at it. Um, actually, technically, it's page five. Would it make sense to table this until we had all the every clarification? Yeah, we don't. Everything? Yeah, we don't have any correspondence from Sky or Hana mm -hmm. or anybody. I don't know. John might have had a conversation. I don't know. But you know, usually something comes to this board in a little condensed version sort of like this with a what you're asking us or this board to do we can we can put that together um and so the board meets monthly is that right yeah yeah, yeah and next one it, our next one is june 3rd which is you know two weeks three weeks away and i apologize we we sent this up here i believe it was last monday so Yeah, we got it. We got it Thursday, okay. and then I gave it uh, Hannah and Sky to review. Okay. And then Hannah's broke down on the road halfway in this morning, and I hadn't seen Sky. So. Okay. And then, I, like I said, I also understood this was going to be for the dewatering, thus that big packet. Yeah, I guess we we wouldn't have uh, produced that <laughs> that <laughs> level. Of yeah, I mean. Usually there's a separate permit that the yeah. drainage board has for the watering yeah. and gives us a little bit more information. You know, how many pumps, how many gallons a minute, and where you're going, and right. how long you're going to be dewatering. Right. You know, because you got you're dealing with Reese Riley over there too, but you're on the south side. Right. Yeah, question. You're Andy. Yes, Andy Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. My question is, is Cal that's speaking, or are they all being recorded for the benefit that they've done? Okay. For quality purposes. So if it's, like John said, I mean, if you're going to, and we don't know this for sure because you don't know, uh, if you're going to use that temporarily for dewatering, I mean, we really need to look at that dewatering thing too before we would approve this, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. That'd be ideal. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Marcel and then 
I mean, I think John needs to have a conversation with Sky, and we need to get all the information together. And maybe you can need to have a meeting with the with yeah. John and Sky, and so the drainage board can get up to speed. And that that would be helpful. I, I guess I apologize. Commissioner Dieter made a motion. I don't know. Do we? Yeah, can I make a motion to table this to the June third, and should we have Sky in person? If he, yeah, that'd be great. Second, uh, I'll second that. So, clarify any other questions. Sounds good. Great. Right. Thank you all. Motion been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Yes. Thanks for dressing up, Dan. No problem. Just envious. Um, Dan Caruso, 305 Compton Street, New Carlisle. I've got a couple of issues. Well, my exes will tell you I got more than a couple. Um, first is uh, the GM site, which there is absolutely nothing going on there. Absolutely nothing other than the county work that's required to run the pipe, the sewer and water in. It looks, it is a mess. You and I both know if, I, if my property was like that, somebody would be knocking on my door and telling me to clean it up. We just, I know it's a big area and the, the, the commissioners just uh, uh, approved a, a contract with KM who handles big projects uh, if GM isn't going to clean up that property until they decide exactly what they're going to do, can, can we get KM over there to clean up the property? Because it, it is a mess. It, it's overgrown. There's just piles of dirt and sawdust everywhere. There's, it's just a mess. Uh, second, um, uh, there's an issue south of Smith Concrete on the corner of Edison and Walnut. Also on Walnut Road, just to the south, all of a sudden, those Zynga signs start showing up. Uh, I question what's going on with those Zynga there. And, and they say, oh, well, they're, they're bringing in a batch plant. Problem is, there's been no permits issued, and they've, they've laid a pad. Then we find out that the county really wasn't aware of it, and now the APC is going to, apparently, Smith, because they were grandfathered into the area, is limited to 25% of their property being developed with the batch plant. They're going to expand that number to 50% so that it now includes Ozinga concrete. Uh, problem is they've already laid the pad. So here, here's my question. I am getting so tired of cutting my grass. Can I just do that? Can I just have my lawn ripped out and lay concrete and paint it green without getting a permit? What, why are they allowed to do that? And apparently it's going to be okay because the concrete's already there. They're just putting a pause on it. There hasn't been work there for about a week now while this runs through the Area Plan Commission. Uh, I, I, just, I just don't like the way that whole thing is going on. And, and a third issue there, the people who are working on that Amazon property, a lot of work done there, a lot of farm ground ripped out. 95% of them are from out of state. So much for getting work for our local trades, local workforce. They're bringing in a workforce from out of state. So not only is the TIF robbing our local entities, now the employees working there, the withholdings from their paychecks are for another state. So we're, we're getting robbed two times from the TIF and from the withholdings of the employees who are working on that site. I, this is, we're just doing things totally backwards here. Thank you. Commissioner Fax Myers. <laughs> 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 Anyone else? 
anyone else? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motivated, seconded to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried.